Hey everyone, I'm Mark from Travel Short. This is my daughter Holly and son Matthew. And today we're going to be flying to Stockholm's Orlando Airport in Sweden. And we're going to be flying from here, Liverpool, John Lennon Airport. I think we've made it just in time. It's just about to start pouring down with rain. It's thunder and lightning as well. So we checked in online earlier, so there's no need to check in here at the airport. So we're going to go straight through passport control and we'll see you airside. So we are going to here. So we've made it through security really quick. They did double check my bags uh, because of the amount of batteries and power packs in there. Now what we're gonna do is get ourselves a bottle of water for the flight and we're gonna go to Boots to do that. So we've got about an hour and a half before our flight. So we've just sat down for a bit, we're gonna relax maybe in about half an hour we go for a walk around and have a look around the airport but if you know what liverpool john lennon airport's like it's not much to see here the best thing to do is just find a chair and relax until our gate is called at the moment we haven't got a gate um that'll probably change in about 30 minutes and imagine normally we board about half an hour before departure just to give you an idea about our trip to orlando we're going to be flying out today which is a sunday we're going to be getting into Stockholm probably quite late in the evening. It's already a, a late afternoon flight now. In Stockholm, we're just going to get a hotel by the airport. And then tomorrow, we're going to tour Stockholm all day before heading back to the airport. And we're actually going to stay in a Boeing 747 hotel. Totally unique. Never done it before. And I'm really looking forward to it. You bored, Holly? Yeah. Not too long to go. And can you believe they've even got a fake eyelash vending machine here? I don't think I've seen that before. Matthew said it was here last time we came. We were in Liverpool Airport about two weeks ago on our little flight to Dublin. But yeah, never seen a fake eyelash vending machine before. So we've got a gate now. We're gate 16, so we're going to head over there now. Gate 16. Should we go? Boarding's now complete, so hopefully you should be taking off pretty soon. Time is 25 to 6, so we're actually meant to be departing now. So I think there's going to be about a 5, 10 or maybe even a 15 minute delay, you reckon? Yeah. So it is raining. It has calmed down a little bit though. Not as heavy as it was when we were driving to the airport. Didn't get too wet coming onto the plane, which is a good thing. Just to give you a quick seat tour, this is seat 22D, E and F. Me, Matthew and Holly here. Like Ryanair, very little room, no, no, no fancy at all. We're flying today on a Boeing 737-800. You've got your safety information for any of there. Seat back tray table there, a bit dirty. Lots of litter on the floor down there. We've got plastic bags stuffed down the seat. Just over the wing. Leg room about there. So that was it. Quick seat tour of seats 22 D, E and F. 
Connor Ryanair flight going from Liverpool John Lennon Airport all the way to Stockholm Orlando Airport. Still no sign of taking off yet though. Let's see how delayed we're going to be. So the reason that lit is still all over the plane is it's only just arrived into Liverpool John Lennon Airport. When we were queuing outside then all the people were just coming off. Literally since the last person came off the plane we then started boarding it so they haven't done a litter sweep or anything, so that's why these crisps, sweet wrappers, plastic bags, everywhere. Yeah, you know, you'd expect them to at least go and check yeah. first, wouldn't you? That's Ryan out. What are you going to expect? Like over to Stockholm. Two hours. Because when I'm Stockholm, it's saying like you're up to the south, it's the killer. I said, you have to make it three degrees. I said, also close to Kilo Hopkins. I said, you place your safety and the safety of the passengers. You have to come to the kitchen. I said, I'll pick this back. We've taken off. In the end, it was about a 20 minute delay before we departed Liverpool John Lennon Airport. Smooth takeoff, a bit cloudy now. The captain did say there may be some turbulence to begin with, but that'll smooth out by the time we get over towards Sweden. Flight time is going to be about two hours. So they're coming around now with the drinks and snacks. I never buy any of that from Ryanair, it's way overpriced. And two hour flight. We've got our bottle of water, that's all we're going to need for this. So I'm going to sit back, relax. Matthew's already trying to go to sleep by the side of me here. I think I'm going to swap places with Ollie in a minute because she wants to sit by the window. I normally only sit by the window during takeoff and landing so I can film. So I'll see you guys later. And if anything interesting comes out the window, I'll film it. See you later. I'm back in the window seat now. The captain has just come over the loudspeaker to announce we'll be landing in about 20 minutes. So looking out the window, we are over land. Still a bit of cloud, but there's definitely land below us. Not sure, probably Sweden, I guess. Or maybe we're going through Norway and into Sweden, not 100% sure. Anyway, like I said, we'll be landing in about 20 minutes. Fingers crossed it's nice and smooth. One thing I've noticed about this flight, even more than usual Ryanair flights, they're really doing the hard sell to sell you their lottery tickets, their crisps, their drinks, their alcohol, their perfume, their hot meals, everything, cigarettes. About every 15 minutes, uh, they're announcing over the loudspeaker that they're going to be going through the cabin again to sell you cigarettes. 15 minutes later, they have a loudspeaker announcement. They're coming around the cabin to sell you perfume. They have a loudspeaker announcement 15 or even 10 minutes later, we're coming around the cabin to sell you our lottery tickets. Waiting till we start our descent. Should be arriving at Lambda Airport probably in about 15 minutes now.
So we've arrived at Stockholm Orlando Airport. That took about two hours. Really smooth flight, apart from the turbulence right at the beginning, but after that, it was fine. Holly got to sleep a little bit as well. Me and Matthew didn't, unfortunately. Now we'll just go through platform control and customs, and we'll see you on the other side. So we made it through passport control and security and that took, what, about 15, 20, maybe even 25 minutes waiting in the line. They really give you the third degree as well of the questions. Where are you staying tonight? Where are you going to stay the rest of the trip? What are you going to be doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, lots of things. How many times have you been to Sweden? How many times have you been to Stockholm? Are you going into Stockholm tomorrow? Anyway, we're going to find the exit, leave Orlando Airport and head to our hotel. Our hotel is called Good Morning Alanda. It's just on the outskirts of the airport. We're just going to be staying there for one night today. Well, one night tonight. And to get there, they do offer a free shuttle service, but we need to phone them up. So once we get to the exit, I'm going to call them up and they should be here within about five minutes. It's a really weird airport. We're just going down flights and flights of stairs to get to the baggage claim in the exit area. We obviously haven't got any baggage with us, but we need to get to the exit. But there's no escalators, no elevators I saw either. It's these steps. Ah, uh, we've got down to the bottom. I've got to say, there was about six flights of stairs at least. Okay, so here we are. Baggage claim area and exit. So, let's find the exit. What do you want, Holly? Do you want to get a chocolate bar? So we've just got some snacks from the 7-Eleven in the airport here, just in case we get a bit peckish when we get to the hotel later after our dinner. And just for reference, two chocolate bars and a pack of crisps cost 107 Swedish Krone. And that comes to £11.91 for two chocolate bars and a pack of crisps. Although the chocolate bar was called Plop, so that's the reason we got it. So we've called our hotel and they've advised us to go to Terminal 4, bus stop number 12. And that's where we pick up our courtesy shuttle bus that's going to take us to the hotel. We've just got to bus stop 12. I've called the hotel. The lady said they should be here in just a few minutes. come to the restaurant in the hotel luckily it's open till 11 o'clock tonight and the time at the moment is 20 past 10. just after we checked in and went into the room a huge party's just arrived right behind us i'm so glad we checked in just that few minutes before them otherwise we'd be there for at least 20 or 30 minutes i reckon it was the whole lobby was full so like i said we're here at the hotel restaurant we've ordered our dinner for the night matthew's gone for some fish and chips I've gone for a chicken schnitzel and Holly is having some spaghetti and meatballs and uh, we've got a soft drink each as well and this came to well I'll show you when the food comes but it came to 567 Swedish Kron which is around 41 pounds so this is Matthew's fish and chips there. Holly's got some spaghetti and meatballs but no sauce on it at all it's just plain spaghetti with some little meatballs and there is my chicken schnitzel with fries. So 
We've just finished our dinner and we've come back to the room. Would you like to have a quick tour? So this is room 168 at the Good Morning Orlando Hotel, like I mentioned, just outside the airport. This is our room. It's a triple family room. Let me switch the camera around. So we have got twin beds here. And you're probably wondering, how is this a triple? Well, if you look above the bed, we have got a bunk bed that we pull down. And it's got all the bedding there as well. So I just need to make that up in a minute once we get ready. Quick look around the room as well. We've got a desk here, TV there. We overlook the car park, if you can see that, okay. That's the bit for the main room. Two chairs there with Matthew and Holly. Oh. Place to hang your coats up or your jumpers. And then in the bathroom, actually looks like they give us a disabled bath room if I'm honest. So there's a toilet there, shower and the sink. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, we're going to settle in for bed now. I've got to pull down the bunk bed. We're going to go to bed. Holly, you're going to be on top bunk today, aren't you? which she's really lucky for to go in on the top bunk. Um, so I think that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're actually going to Stockholm itself. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be visiting a lot of museums, going on walking tours, having some traditional uh, Swedish meatballs. And then we've got a really special hotel for tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you're new here, my name's Mark, along with my son, Matthew, and daughter, Holly. We make travel and theme park videos from around the world. And here's Holly with her special message. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. Bye. Bye.